Hello, it's Meg Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to build a pouncing lion statue. Also, thank you all who suggested this. I had several people asking for a lion slash cat. So, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can convert this statue to be just about any cat you want it to be. So let's get started. So to start, we're going to build six blocks up, and on the seventh block, we will begin the middle layer. Basically what that means is I've taken this statue and just sliced it into one block thick layers. And as we add more layers, we'll be adding more details and fleshing out the shape of the lion. As you can see, I'm going to be using stone, cobblestone, and stone brick for this build. But at the end of the video, I will show you some other coloring options in case you wanted to have a colored lion. So now we have the middle layer done, we're going to add on layer 2 on both the left and the right, and they will be exact mirrors of each other. You will also need to select a separate block to use for the eyes on this layer. Moving on to the third layer, we start to see an introduction of the legs and finishing off some of the other details in the face. On the fourth layer for each side, we'll be finishing off the ear by adding one block. We're also finishing up some muscles in the legs and adding a few more blocks to the mane. Make sure the slabs that you're adding to the paws are going in an alternating pattern to represent separate claws. For the last layers, we're going to be adding just a few more blocks to finish off the paws, as well as some of the larger muscle shapes. Now that finishes off the body, we just have to add the tail. Moving around to the back, I'm going to find this one block and just build blocks out to create my tail. Mine is going to have a slight curve, but you could make your straight or curly cued or whatever you want it to be, as long as it looks like a tail. For the end of my tail, I'm just going to cover it with cobblestone so that it has the fuzzy end of the tail. And that's all there is for this line statue. It's really small and really simple. But now I'm gonna show you how you can change it to be any cat, and then eventually how you can color these. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change the statue to become a female lion, or a lioness. All you have to do is remove those cobblestone blocks from the mane. Once the mane is gone, then voila, you have a lioness. Now if you continue to remove the cobblestone blocks from the tail, now you have the shape of a cat that could be any cat you want it to be. So with cobblestone, it's a lion, and without cobblestone, any other cat. Now let's take a look at how we can color these cats to make them unique. For the lion, I use sandstone, hardened clay, quartz for the teeth and claws, and then a darker stair block for the nose. I would recommend using a block that has stairs and slabs for the body so you can get all those additional details in the face. Moving on to the next model, I colored this one like a tiger. I used orange terracotta for the body, mixed in with some red sandstone for the stairs and slabs on the face, with additional wool for the white around the face, and black concrete for the stripes. The third coloring I did is of a black panther, and I made this all black concrete using nether brick stairs and slabs because it's the closest color to black that has stairs and slabs. I added additional nether brick slabs all around the body so that they wouldn't just be on the face. Also, I gave him yellow eyes so that they could stand apart from the rest of his body. Now, there are many other types of cats and other colorings you can do, but this is just to give you an idea of what you could do with these statues. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you found it useful to some extent. If you have any other suggestions for what you'd like to see me build, please mention them in the comments below, and I will take them into consideration. Okay, bye!